Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the Sony ICF P36 FM AM portable radio. The box in front of me. Purchased this radio from Amazon for a total of $19.39. And it goes over the bands, LED tuning indicator, which is a little red light down there, LED battery status indicator, a little green light, pretty simple stuff. Supplied accessory hand strap. All right. The photograph and the actual product may differ in appearance. Uh, mine does differ a little bit, and we'll talk about that. Uh, made in China, 2015, Sony Corp. On the back, they kind of go over the same thing. Headphone port, tuning lights, two AA batteries, and I'm sure there's just UPC stuff under those stickers. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside. We got a manual. Sony FM AM radio operating instructions. Batteries, band, tuning knob, headphone jack, how to install your wrist strap. All right. How to use the antenna. <laughs> I get a kick out of that picture. Don't bend it like that. Don't one fist it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, tuning in on the AM. All right, staying away from noisy devices. Warning, things might blow up. Let's see, oh yeah, it talks about the headphone jack. I didn't notice that, that's cool. Uh, mono, you can use a mono and a stereo, that's kind of nice. If you just can't use a three ring one, that's fine. Most people don't have that. Want to replace the batteries, of course. And then I noticed in this manual, it did talk about battery time, which I thought was cool. So there we go, approximately 100 hours on the FM and 110 hours on the AM. Pretty cool uh, when using their batteries, but yeah, I'm sure it's the same with most alkalines. Um, of course, different for rechargeables. Dimensions in millimeters, mass, 220 grams. Clean the batteries, hand strap, okay. Headphones not included. Um, frequency range, 100 milliwatt power output. Okay, get the idea. Let's get to the radio here. Or what else is in this box? Ah, there's the hand strap. Sweet. This is a good one. This I like how it's Boss Sony. It's like a little rubbery. And I like how it's like more tubular style. It's more comfortable on the wrist, you know, when you're wearing it. Accessorizes nice. Maybe use it as like paracord for like survivalist or something. Yeah. Alright. Um, a little bit of foam. The box. What else we got here? That's about it. Okay, let's open this up. I taped it. Okay. All oh, right away, it's got that glossy fingerprint magnet stuff. It's my unit here. This particular one has a semi-gloss on the flat part, on the flat black part. So it's a little glossier than my P26. So let's go over the radio. Dimensions. We have a total of five and one eighth inches long, two and three quarter inches wide, and a depth of 1.38, excuse me, one and three eighths inch in depth. So it's a little bulkier than the 2.6, which I brought along with me, just to kind of do an overview. There's the 2.6, and you can see the differences in the plastics a little bit. Again, I don't know what's up, but this looks like it's oily for some reason. Just a real, like a semi-glossy look to it. I don't know if I'm a fan, but it's all right. I do like how this, this texture is better, smoother. Um, okay, shorter, it's not as thick of a cabinet. You're, re you're really not one-handing. This is more like a tabletop style. You know, it's, it's like that, you tune it like this while it's on the table. This is more like I could tune it in my hand, one-handed here. Um, so that's, that's the difference, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's see, we got our speaker. It's about the same size as the other. Yeah, they look about the same. Now uh, you get your AM, FM bands. The travel is the same on both radios. I checked that out the distance. 
uh, your tuning uh, light indicator and any battery indicators when it turns green and when it turns red. On the left side of the radio, you have a nice wide volume knob, very easy to use. Headphone jack, um, as you saw in the manual, it could take a mono uh, headphone, like a single or a stereo headphone jack, but it does only transmit in the FM mono. There's no FM stereo on the headphones. So, tuning knob on top, it's nice and smooth. Travel there. Right side, you have your uh, off and then band select, it's handy. On the back, the antenna, which is 17 inches. I like this antenna because it locks in nice and tight and then it opens up and then it swivels back this way so you have a full range of motion as far as you know you got your 180 plus you know you can go down over here but I don't know who's gonna do that so pretty nice and of course you got you know front and back a little bit so it is a handy setup I like it better than the P26's antenna stick it there and then batteries two double A's as you saw, it lasts 100 hours. It's pretty amazing. Uh, for this, I'm going to use some lithiums. Uh, I didn't see it, didn't say you couldn't, so I'm going to use them since I got them. Okay, we will start on the AM band and see what it sounds like. Delicious lobster, Graham. I'll have that for you. From North Avenue to Chicago and 53rd to 57th as well on the tri state. Shot to death shortly before noon in the Lawndale neighborhood. 21 year old Jonathan Fiercy. Traffic. Still major delays on the side of freeway this afternoon. Accident just past Beulah Church Road. They're trying to clear up traffic, so back up back to I 64. Also, still seeing delays because of a crash just south of the Cider on 71 southbound. Uh, Hurstburn Parkway up around LaGrange Road. Watch for major backups because of an accident in your northbound lanes. 65 southbound. Slow stop and go from Fern Valley Road all the way out to the county line. Uh, we have an accident southbound and then another accident northbound at the Snyder Freeway as traffic backed up uh, back to about Shepherdsville. Our next report in 10 minutes. I'm Bobby Ellis, News Radio 840 WHAS. This report is brought to you by Cinemark. I wanted to get the call letters on that station because, um, yeah, that was um, Louisville, about 300 miles away. Area and the jam is pretty 
pretty good right now. Southbound 141, you'll encounter volume from 30 to I was hoping to get call stations on that one. Definitely not a city around here. Okay, so you get an idea. You can definitely distance um, AM listen, and that's what I was trying to do there. Uh, here, if I would have laid it, you know, waited another few minutes, probably would have heard where that was coming from. I'm guessing that was Minnesota. Uh, 1120 um, it looked like it would have been around that that range 1120 so um, yeah it's pretty cool that's another 350 miles for me so yeah this little radio is great um, and it has really good tonal quality I like that so it's very easy to pick up those faint stations especially when you're using the headphones too so we're gonna go to the FM and we'll see how this tunes in Classical station. Sounds good. Fiddle a little bit with the tuning, otherwise not bad. There's a little bit of a tuning exercise there. It went a little longer than I wanted to, but you know, sometimes when you get teased by those distance AM stations, you gotta check them out and see uh, where they're coming from. I'm always surprised when some of these small portables can pick up real far signals. It's just on a good night, you know, you can almost pick up New York City. I, I think I did one time with a few of my smaller portables. It was pretty awesome, you know, what is that, 750 miles for me, almost 800 miles. That was a pretty, pretty amazing feat for a small radio. So this radio here, I believe, is a little bit more sensitive on the AM and FM band versus the P26. Um, it's just a little different orientation. Um, this is more of your tabletop. You know, you're know, you going to have it like this most of the time, which is great because it's super solid in this format. Uh, they have the balance right, and you know, you'll be tuning it from up here You know, as you're trying to find a station. Uh, this is just a great little shop garage type radio. You, know, you can prop it up somewhere. And you know, getting that good reception instead of sitting like this where it might fall over easier. I like how they did this. This probably won't be the most popular one. I'm thinking this the P26 is gonna be more popular just because it's more po you know, easier to put in your pocket, but I still don't like how that antenna is exposed there. Um, like I said, the Sanjin, you know, SR35, it's like molded and it's like fits into the casing so it's not sticking out. But um, you know, here nor there. Sony is a good product. Then goodbye me. Uh, we'll see what future radios they come out with. So at a buy of $19, uh, if you like the form factor and you want just that little extra bit of reception uh, and it's more of a tabletop use for you, uh, I would recommend this radio. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.